Hey, listen. God wants you to know this. Everybody on YouTube, I need you to listen and share this video to people. Many people complain about blessings, right? Just take a walk with me. A lot of people complain why I don't get blessed. You know, and God want me to tell you this. You must understand to get blessed by God. You got to obey him. And so many people, so many Christians, they live their life as God owed them something. <laughs> but we got to get real with God. Are we really obeying God? Do we really surrender our all to him? I need y'all to really think about this. It's too many people who want God to do stuff for them. But in return, they don't want to do nothing for God. And so God says, listen, I'm going to turn my ear toward people who don't obey me. And I'm going to listen to the people that obey me. So the question is, are you going to obey God? Because if you don't choose to obey God, then neither will God bless you. God doesn't owe anybody nothing that chooses to serve the devil. And we must understand that. God doesn't owe us anything. If we choose not to lean on his word and do what it says. How many times have a lot of people asked God, oh, God, bless me with this and I want this. Okay. Well, God saying, I know you want this, but what you going to do for me? God already said to seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. And he'll give us what we need, right? He said he would give us what we need if we seek first his kingdom. So are you truly with your heart? Seeking God's will for your life. Are you truly in your heart striving to obey God's word by seeking his kingdom first? And to seek it first means to put God above everything in your life, every person, everything. And most Christians don't do that. Most Christians choose to just sit there and put God second and third and fourth in their life. They put their cause first. Some people put their money first. Some people put their jobs and all this stuff first and then God behind. And you come to God like he's an option. God is not an option. God is your only option and the only um, decision that you got to make. He got to be first in your life. The question is, why is God not first in your life? Or is it because you're serving other gods? See, whatever you allow to become first in your life becomes your God. If you fall in love with your job and you chasing your money and it's stopping you from going to church and you could get home and you're so tired because you chasing money, that has become your God. Money has become your God. It's your motive. It's why you wake up and do what you do. Instead of your life being rooted in God and saying, God, I'm waking up to do your will. Yeah, you need money. Yeah, we need this stuff. Our main priority got to be seeking first God's kingdom and his righteousness so we can get the right blessings that we need from God. And that's why people don't get blessed. And we got to understand that God is not going to bless us if we don't choose to obey him. God said, my ears are far from the disobedient, but I'm attentive. It means that God listens and hears the prayers of the righteous. Righteous people live according to God's word. That's why a righteous person can pray to God and God hear them and respond to them because they are his. And a person that's living wicked, they don't obey God and they'll pray to God and it seems like God don't hear you. And the reason is because you don't belong to him. God only responds to people that belongs to him according to a blessing that they're seeking. So make sure... If you want to get blessed, you got to see God's kingdom. You got to repent and you got to live holy because that's the people that God blesses. So this may, I hope this answer a lot of people's questions. Hope this answer and hope this points you to the direction that God is trying to shift you to. Because some of y'all wonder why God ain't blessed y'all. Some of y'all wonder why y'all ain't got that blessing that you've been chasing God for for years. And it's one simple thing. You're not truly seeking this kingdom. You might say you are, but really in your, really in your heart, you still putting God second, third, and fourth. Where God's supposed to be first. So it's time for you to say, God, you know what? I've been doing this thing wrong. 
I have been seeking second your kingdom. I've been seeking third your kingdom. I haven't been giving him my all. You got to give God your heart. Give God your motives, your actions. Let God be the source that drive your every being, everything that's in you. And that's how you don't get blessed. So I pray this lesson bless you and help you so you can now get your life together. So when you pray to God, God will answer. And the last thing God said, whatever we ask in prayer and believe, we'll receive. If you really want God to bless you, if you really want to receive stuff from God, you got to obey him. You got to believe what you're asking him to. And that's how you receive your blessings from God. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Looking forward to bringing more information to you. Amen.